I'm gonna be honest with you guys, man. And I believe I made a video similar to this, but going into the new year, what I want you people to know that I have disabilities, anything that, that follows me, is that if you have the ability, start doing as much as you can for yourself, even if it's just a little bit. And another thing that I had to learn going into this spiritual journey and this spiritual process is you can become your own hero. You can save yourself. Stop looking up to other people and depending on other people to do things for you as much as possible. Do as much as you can for yourself. That's what I aim to do every day, which is why I work out every day, which is why I try to get myself out of the bed mostly every day, or I try to do as much as I can to gain my own independence and strength because with a condition, the first thing they're going to teach you is that you always need somebody there. They're going to try to drill that in your head and make you feel weak and insignificant if you don't have somebody by you, if you don't have somebody around you, if you don't have somebody that's at your beck and call. They're going to try to convince you that that's what you need to survive. No, on my spiritual journey and on my journey working out, I learned that all you need is you and your mentality and your desire to fight and survive and create and live. You just have to have the desire within you to want to fight, the desire within you to want to make your life better, the desire within you to change your life. You have to have a vision for your life, and you have to follow that vision no matter what nothing else feels like, no matter what nothing else means to anybody else. is what it means to you and how serious and committed you are to that vision and to that drive and to that energy. You can save yourself. Stop feeling sorry for yourself. Blaming other people, blaming the situations is you and your desire. That will make the difference between you making your dream or totally crashing out. And me, for my part, I'm willing to do whatever I have to do to keep this spiritual journey going, to keep the process building, to keep the process moving, to keep the process flowing because I know it's what I'm meant to do in my heart, body, mind, and soul, and I'm never going to surrender. I'm always going to only grow and gain more knowledge and more wisdom and more power as I get older, and I'm curious to just continue with that journey with you guys and looking forward to showing the world that they can be their own superhero and save themselves despite their situation, in my opinion.